Dear comrades and friends, I'm so glad and moved to send this message because it's about our common life over the last 10 years. We have grown up together and we are becoming stronger in the storm of neoliberal austerity. Because once again, when neoliberalism and conservatism turn the hill of history backwards, it's the left's moment to push Europe forward. During those 10 years, we have all evolved and changed by acting together, discussing together, deciding together. And by changing ourselves, we have been changing the left in Europe. Bringing together different parties from various countries with their own distinct history and political traditions, it has been and still is because the process of inclusion has not ended a difficult but fascinating, fascinating political exercise. We have been doing it with success because this is why the left exists, to unite, not to divide. And we cannot unite people if we don't unite ourselves and coordinate with all progressive forces. Because when we unite, we don't simply add forces, we multiply forces, we multiply impact. And because we have been doing it with success, we have united the left in Europe. Now we are ready to unite Europe in left, to unite Europe that neoliberalism divides. And we are now ready to change Europe, because it is clear, this is not our Europe. This is the Europe of the neoliberal consensus, the consensus between European People's Party, between liberals and European Social Democrats. This is the Europe of Jean-Claude Juncker, Guy Verhofstadt and Martin Schulz. This is their Europe and we want to change this Europe. In the place of their Europe of austerity, unemployment and poverty, in the place of their Europe that redistributes income to the rich and fear to the poor, in the place of a Europe in the service of buggers' needs, we want a Europe in the service of human needs, a Europe of peace and solidarity, a Europe that gives priority to its youth, a democratic, social and ecological Europe. This is our Europe. This is the Europe of European left. Dear comrades and friends, this is the time to change Europe. The European elections in a few days are different from all in the past. And they are crucial for the future of Europe. They are crucial for our lives. Voting has never been more important than in a few days. Because Europe is uh, in a crucial crossroad. If the political forces of the, of the neoliberal consensus prevail, then austerity will become permanent. Democracy will further weaken and standards of living, of living will fall. For that reason, we believe that this is the time, this is time to change our lives. By staying at home, by no voting, we let the others who vote to decide for ourselves and for, their, and for our lives and for the lives of our children. We should go to the polls in May. We should go to vote. We are fighting for every single vote. And every vote that goes to the European left is a vote that weakens Mrs. Merkel. It's a vote against austerity. Because at this critical moment, the dilemma at the polls is crystal clear. The European left or austerity? The European left or Mrs. Merkel? Dear comrades and friends, we all share a common vision. We all share the struggle to make that vision reality. Let's all make this 10 years birthday of the European left, a new start for Europe. 
this should be and would be and will be the main of European left. This should be and will be the main of hope and change in Europe. We shall overcome, we will win. Thank you very much.